I'm Lieutenant Fred Meadows with the Carter County Sheriff's Office. Every day, millions of students use school buses as transportation to and from school. Although school buses represent the safest form of highway transportation, there are a number of safety factors of which both students and drivers should be aware. Our friends with the Morehead City Police Department will now share some helpful tips to ensure your child enjoys a safe ride to and from school. I'm Officer Zach Leach with the Morehead City Police Department. I'm School Resource Officer at Bridges Learning Center. Here's some helpful school bus safety tips for this upcoming school year. Students, always arrive at the bus stop at least five minutes early. While the bus is approaching, make sure to stand at least three giant steps away from the curb. Wait till the bus has come to a complete stop, the door opens, and the bus driver says that it's okay to board. Always walk on the sidewalk when preparing to cross the street near a bus. Make eye contact with the driver so that you are sure he or she sees you. Never walk behind the bus. If you are walking beside the bus, Walk at least three giant steps away. Use the handrail when entering and exiting the bus. Take extra precautions to make sure that clothing with drawstrings and book bags do not get caught in the handrail or door. Never stop to pick something up that you have dropped when a bus is stopped. Tell the bus driver or wait until the bus is driven off to avoid not being seen by the driver. I'm Franklin Rice with the Moorhead City Police Department, School Resource Officer at West Carter High School. Motors. Remember that children are unpredictable in their actions. Take extreme caution when traveling in a school zone. If there is no sidewalk, drive cautiously. Be more alert to possible children walking out in the street. Slow down and prepare to stop whenever you see school bus lights flashing. Never pass a school bus when they are flashing red lights and the stop arm is extended. This is a sign that children are getting on or off the bus. Motors must wait until the red lights stop flashing and the stop arm is withdrawn and the bus moves forward before they can start driving again. 